For more than 20 months, close to two years, PIX11 has re been reporting on the scaffolding at the building behind me here on West 86th Street. Finally, the city council is about to take action on the scaffolding problem across the city. It's been here longer than I have. Um, yeah, it'd be nice to see it go. It's, you know, that's kind of ugly. Neighbors and residents can barely remember a time when this building at 51 West 86th Street did not have a safety shed, scaffolding, and netting. Since 2006, it's been up with barely any work being done. Well, and I think it adds to a feeling of unsafety in the city because it's just like darkens up all the streets and it, I, I really don't like them at all. This building is just the worst example of a problem that has plagued the city for decades. Currently, there are more than 9,000 active sidewalk sheds across the city, and more than 200 of them have been in place for more than five years. It is a blight on neighborhoods. It's a safety issue. It's ugly, and we've got to do better. And that's why on Thursday, four city council members are introducing bills to stop the use of sidewalk sheds with no repairs taking place. One bill would provide landlords with low interest loans to speed up the costly facade work. Another would change the design and layout safety standards. A third would increase fines. But for those buildings which are not doing the right thing, we want to increase the fines and even go so far as having the city step in doing the facade repair work, removing the scaffolding, and sending the bill to the building owner uh, just to get this done. Residents at this West 86th Street building credit PIX11 for doing a series of reports on their scaffolding problems. PIX11 played a critical role in essentially popularizing our issue. And tomorrow morning at 11 a.m., those four city council members will be introducing their bills to hopefully make a dent in the scaffolding problem across the city.